Welcome everyone to Jay Wolf Tech Broadcast. Today is going to be another video that's going to kind of hopefully end up concluding into an actual build guide. I do plan on doing that. But what I want to discuss today is power supplies. Now I will say one thing, power supplies are not something that I know a lot about. I have read a decent amount about them, but they're not something that I've actually had a lot of experience with in different models. Uh, I usually stick with the places that have the most warranty and best customer service. That being said, when you choose a power supply, there's a couple things to keep in mind. Uh, the first thing that I like to think about is how much power am I gonna need for my system in the next four to five years? When I get a system, I usually try not to upgrade it for a while. Um, maybe the GPU, you upgrade that a little bit, but CPU, if you get a nice higher end CPU, you're not gonna have to upgrade it for a while. So, first thing I actually look at is look at what graphics card either you have or you're wanting to get. Many of them, if you go to any website to buy them at, they usually have a minimum requirement for power. For example, uh, I believe, uh, I know the GTX Titan is like 600 watts uh, from, from, what I, from what I saw, I believe that's it. 600 watts. So you're not gonna need much more than a 600 watt power supply. I usually recommend getting a little bit better power supply. Uh, if you need 600 watts minimum, get a 750, 760 watt power supply because the price for that 600 and that 750 isn't that much different. I mean, I'd rather spend 10 to $15 more and get a higher end power supply, one that's got a little bit more wattage than I would and actually cheapen out. Power supplies last for a long time. Many power supplies have at least five year warranties, of many of them seven. I mean, this is the Corsair AX8 60i which I bought mainly because you get a three-year warranty. Seasonic is the manufacturer, it's just a rebranded Corsair product and get into some other features about it which which make it uh, kind of pleasing to to me. But they many of them have a you know five to seven year warranties. I try to get a seven year warranty because that means you're not gonna have to replace a power supply for seven years. So think try to at least think five years down the road on what your system's actually gonna look like. The GPU is going to require the most horsepower, but if you have that, uh, two radiator pumps, uh, four radiators, 18 fans, you're going to need a little bit more juice. The fans, almost they almost use no power, but I usually try to play it safe and get a little bit more. So, beef up, uh, usually a 750 watt power supply will do it, but again, consult the graphics card and the overall system. Uh, there's forums out there everywhere that you can go on, and people will help you if you, if you just go to the forum and ask. Uh, you'll get some knowledgeable advice. And most most places, uh, Linus Tech Tips, his forum uh, right now is actually really well laid out. As in, it's really helpful. Uh, people aren't there to bash your stuff, or it's it's a, it's just a really encouraging environment. But that being said, another thing about the power supplies is, do you want modular or non-modular? Recently, I've seen that power supplies are starting to go more towards the modular side of thing. Modular basically means that a power supply doesn't have any, if it's full modular, full modular means that there's nothing actually connected to the power supply. It's just a brick, and then all your cables are actually separate. When you think of a semi-modular, semi-modular usually means that the two power connectors uh, for your motherboard that you need to power the motherboard are connected, but the rest, uh, rest is, is modular for your PCI, cables, your SATA cables, your Molex cables, anything like that is going to be separate from the actual power supply. And then you just have the modular power supplies where everything's connected. Every single thing that you actually need to build your system is connected to that power supply. A few things to think about, if you're building a small form factor case, I would definitely go for the modular power supplies, full modular if possible, mainly because you can re-sleeve things, uh, you, can, you can get your own sleeving and re-sleeve them. Uh, just so it looks a little better on the inside and a lot of the smaller form factor cases require shorter cabling so you might have to buy a little bit shorter cabling or you know go about that it's just more difficult to build and i've built systems in one i've built it in my tj08-e my servers in there and that is not a modular power supply and if it had a window on the side i would not want anyone seeing it it's, a, it's pretty it was pretty difficult to get everything routed and i actually had to um, Go about things a little differently so i would just get that if you look going for maybe a cheap system and you're just looking for an atx you got a mid tower or atx case it's got good cable management you can get by with a full full modular power supply but keep in mind that most of the cables from the full modular power supply if your case has a window i don't recommend that because if you're like me 
I like all the same colors. Some of the some of the cheaper power supplies have really weird color cabling, and you do see that in your system. But if you don't if you don't have a window on it, it's not going to make a difference. So you can get by there. The semi-modular power supplies is where you actually probably get the best deals. Uh, if you ask me, you can get one of those extremely cheap. Uh, the full modular uh, you have to step up and usually pay a little bit more. So that's just a different way to go. It all depends on how you want the inside of your case to look. Uh, performance wise, there's probably not that much different difference in a, a modular versus full modular. Uh, I only recommend for a power supply to be 12, just one single 12 volt rail. Uh, just seems to be the standard on how things are going right now. So just keep in mind when you read the power supplies, definitely read them because someone will say modular, they won't tell you if they're full or semi until you get down to the bottom. Uh, so definitely, definitely uh, check that out. And get a power supply that gets good reviews and that overall has a good satisfaction. Seasonic is still, I think, one of the best. And they they you know manufacture many of the power supplies of companies out there. I know Corsair's is, is basically a Seasonic power supply that's been rebranded. And they're throwing in their warranty support instead of uh, Seasonic. So keep that in mind. Uh, power supply is something you keep for a long time. So if it, if it you know burns out in four years and you have a seven-year warranty, you're good to go. That's something to just keep in keep in mind when you're buying one. Another thing is how efficient is it? Uh, 80 plus bronze, 80 plus gold, 80 plus silver, 80 plus platinum. Just means how efficient the power supply is actually going to run. Um, as you can see, 80 plus bronze is usually the standard. Most of them have that now, and it's just a standard efficiency rate uh, ratio. I'm not real familiar on efficiency isn't really a big key to me but I usually try to get 80 plus gold or better just so I can save a little bit of bucks I mean if you think about it over five years of your system running on 80 plus gold versus 80 plus bronze or even not that's not even 80 plus you don't know how efficient it is if it's 80 plus gold or higher usually you're gonna be able to shave a little bit off your electric bill especially if you're using your system all the time like I am um, that's really it with the 80 plus uh, it's just more efficiency Efficiency. Uh, some of there's a lot of different brands out there. A lot of different power supplies. Um, I've uh, personally only ran Seasonic or Corsair. Uh, I've had a XFX that I put in a friend's system before, and he loved it. He he he's still still running that power supply. It was one of their silent ones. Uh, that might have been Cooler Master though. One of them. Um, just just read the reviews out there. Make sure you're reading up on them and see see uh, what kind of. Um, you know, supports with them, what kind of warranties with them. Uh, you, I don't, I still don't think you can go wrong with Corsair or Seesaw. Like, they have great power supplies and most of them come with, especially if you're getting into the HX and the AX, which is uh, Corsair's higher end uh, series power supplies, you're getting a longer warranty. So they're going to make sure that this component's not going to break on you. That's it really for power supplies. It's probably my least knowledgeable subject, but hopefully I gave you a little bit of information that you can use. Thanks again, everyone. See you guys next time.